say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that a flag was still there oh say does that star spangled of it we just thought it was an accident but then that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building and as fire crews are descending on this area it it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet now remember oh my god oh my god that looks like a second plane Terrible. as just I didn't see a plane go in that that just exploded. And the second plane hit the, the second twin tower, and that's when we knew that something, uh, something very bad, something very wrong was going on. We try to say that we will never forget. Cat the. Uh, Every year we kind of, not celebrate, but remember what took place. What scares me is what might happen years from now. Well, we continue to remember. Everybody likes to say we will never forget, but we seem to have forgotten what happened on December 7th. Nobody talks about the attacks on Pearl Harbor as much as they do about the events that took place. We gotta remember that September 11th and have a remembrance five years from now, 10 years from now. We keep saying we will never forget, but will we? That's what scares me. Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Christian Gutierrez. And I'm Muhammad Chuo. Today is Friday, September 9th, 2016. Bulldogs, if your parents wish to meet your teachers, now is the chance. High school open house will take place on Thursday, September 15th, and the middle school open house will take place on Thursday, September 22nd. Both will take place in the cafeteria from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And now on to your next segment. The Lady Bulldogs Tuesday faced Hebrew Academy. Volleyball co-captain Elizabeth Perez demonstrated her stellar leadership, setting perfectly in all three sets. But the highlight of the game was Rachel Torres delivering justice by spiking an opponent to the face. 
Grayson Rodriguez also contributed, scoring nine points back to back in each serve. The Lady Bulldogs closed out the win with Lila Cortez scoring the winning point. The volleyball team now stands at a 50 50 split with three losses and three wins over their last six games. Just a friendly reminder, Bulldogs, the NFL football season starts on Sunday. So, to all you Dolphin fans, go Jets! In their first co ed match of the season, the bowling team faced off against John A. Ferguson Senior High School at Bird Bowl Lanes. So far this season, sophomore Brian Postles has contributed in tremendous fashion with a 384 average on the season, and junior Melissa Rodriguez followed right behind with a great 293 average on the season. Despite a full hearted effort, however, the strikes were not in the Bulldogs' favor Tuesday as the record now falls to a combined 0 3 on the season. Better luck next time. On September 28th, there's a parent teacher conference at 3 p.m. after school, followed by a mandatory senior night at 6 30. Squad's an early release on September 29th. Let's go!